Now DiCaprio is a former Singapore Galloper and will be having his first start here in the country, resuming and hasn't had a start since the 5th of August. Has to overcome the wide barrier, goes around in race number one, the ENA Racing Mix Handicap and Furman Yap will take the ride. That is uh, DiCaprio, who's had the 27 starts overall for the one victory, what, which uh, was recorded back in September of 2016, DiCaprio. Balboa goes around in race number two, the Midovite Performer 3 handicap, and Balboa will be ridden by M. Yusri and draws barrier number 12. Uh, recent form was only moderate, uh, made up some late headway behind you are genius there at Penang last time out. Uh, that race a fortnight ago over 1,300 metres. Has had the four wins overall from 37 starts and all of those victories have been over 16 and 1,700 metres and uh, will be going around over the 1,200 metres there in race two, Balboa. Now the four-year-old Rasmi will be uh, contesting the third race on the program, the Tansuri David V. Jairatnam Charity Cup. And it's only had the two runs here in the country. Rasmi, of course, uh, won its maiden there in Penang. That was in heavy going back in September. And last start, uh, not disgraced in Class 4 company in the race won by Little Bit of Joy. Uh, Rasmi will be ridden by Jackson Lowe, carries the 53 kilos and goes around in race three. That's Rasmi. Now carrying the 179 saddle cloth is Ace King who goes around in the Group 1 Coronation Cup. Stepping up in grey, this will be his biggest test to date but he's coming off some very good form including two wins in a row, the most recent in Cosmo C Company over 1200 metres when he defeated Platinum Life back on the 20th of October. He is racing well, gets in with the uh, 51 kilos and dies out aboard. That is Ace King, goes around in race four, the Coronation Cup. Multi Blue Shark is coming off three wins from his last four starts. He was able to beat Nazir narrowly here last Sunday. Both horses go around in the Coronation Cup, the two greys. We'll have a look at that replay from last week them quickly to grab the lead. Down the outside, Multi Blue Shark and Big Lightning. Nazir and Multi Blue Shark, they're wide apart. Big Lightning down the outside. Nazir in front, they're getting close to home. Multi Blue Shark closing again. Nazir, Multi Blue Shark. I think the shark still got up. Multi Blue Shark from Nazir, Big Lightning. Having a look at the stable mats now, Alassimo, which goes around in race five, is working up on the inside of uh, Discreetly Red, who is engaged in race number nine. Alassimo coming off a last start placing there to Da Vinci. That was in Penang over 1,700 metres back on the 27th of October. That was in soft going. Alassimo's had the six wins overall from 43 starts. Will be ridden by Zed Carreel. Uh, draws barrier 12. That is Alassimo working up on the inside of Discreetly Red. Nevertheless, goes around in the Midovite Cup as well in race number five and is coming off a recent win there at Epo over 1,600 metres. Was unplaced over 1,400 at Penang last start. Has won twice this year. Three from 20 starts overall and was a winner in Class 4 grade a uh, couple of runs ago there with Jay Daniel aboard and draws the two barrier. So nevertheless, well drawn in the Mitovide Cup and uh, looks a chance there in race five. Now Mazandaran also goes around in the Mitovide Cup and will be ridden by Jay Malian, draws the pole. And showed improvement last start, uh, ran fifth to Palau Penang, made up some late headway, was only three lengths behind the winner. That race going back to the 28th of October, over 1,300 metres. Uh, Maz and Darren hasn't won in quite a while, has had the three wins from 33 race starts overall, and has won in the wet going before. That is Maz and Darren, who goes around in race five.
Artie Mister is engaged in the Magic Millions Trophy. That is the restricted maiden race. He's only had the two race starts, hasn't really shown up in both outings and was well beaten at Epo over 1,200 metres last start. The three-year-old by Al Maher will have Ferdsriel aboard, claims the four kilos there, and Artie Mister will be going around in race number six on Sunday. Carrying the 227 saddle cloth is a stable mate of Artie Mister. This is Consense and will be ridden by Casey Wong. Uh, like Artie Mister, it's only had the two race starts. Came from the wide barrier last start in the race one by team winner and draws barrier number three there on Sunday. Uh, that is Consense to be ridden by Casey Wong. Goes around in the Magic Millions trophy. Ken Tay is a three-year-old New Zealand bred galloper and was quite impressive at the trails on Tuesday morning. Ran the quickest time, in fact. And Ken Tay winning a trail here, defeating Magical 10. Ken Tay goes around in the restricted maiden on Sunday. At a dozen lengths away with 100 to go. Magical 10 now tackled by Ken Tay, the outside. Not a great deal between them. Ken Tay looms up outside of Magical 10, who's got a decent kick, but Ken Tay will grab it right on the post. Ken Tay beats Magical 10. Third home was Highland Falcon. Always De Great will be contesting race number seven, the Mitovite Sustainer Stakes, having his third run this preparation. Uh, ran second to the smart Mr. Nevermind a couple of starts ago and wasn't far away in the race won by Ace King over 1,200 metres uh, six days later, back on the 20th of October. So he's racing in very good form. CK Cause got the ride. He'll receive the claim also and draws barrier 12, that is always De Great, who goes around in race 7. Now let's have a look at uh, Happy 66, uh, working up on the inside of uh, Stablemate Never Unconditional, and Happy 66 goes around in race number 9 on Sunday, and will be ridden by Sandana, and draws uh, barrier 6, and Happy 66 has been going down in the ratings, was unplaced in Penang over 1,400 last start, has posted two wins from 21 starts overall. Happy 66 working up on the inside of Never Unconditional. Now Aspen goes around in race number nine Sunday, will be ridden by Casey Wong, draws a fraction wide and uh, will come from the 14 barrier. And Aspen coming off a couple of placings there in succession back in August and September, both in KL over 13 and 1,200 metres respectively, and uh, failed in KL last start behind the Dodger. And Aspen for the Peter Lee stable goes around in race nine. Now, Nobody's Fool is coming off an easy victory in a Class 4 company there last Sunday. This race was over 1,200 metres. Uh, Jay Daniel retains the ride. Very impressive there last weekend. Draws gate 13 on Sunday. Nobody's Fool goes around in the last. Outside, and they were followed by Sam the Man, but Nobody's Fool first up for a long, long time is going to be way too good. And Jay Daniel's got a double. Nobody's Fool goes on to win. Tight for the minors between TH Maxims and the maiden performer, Roses for Me, was flashing up on the inside. They were followed by its only money.